out, there's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out, crying out loud, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on, we're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds, stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying, be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street, it's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat, I never wear gold, cause someone's always peeping by the fence, it's still crying much, came and give TNT confidence, I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring, I had a dream, I had a dream, like my new There's kid. a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on, we're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down. There's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out, crying out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on, we're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch, and we're back. Top of the evening to you. Top, top, top of the evening to you. I hope you're having a beautiful Thursday. It's a beautiful day in Trinidad and Tobago. All those of you who are locked on a line, a special good evening to you. All those millions and millions and millions and millions of persons on, uh, on, on, on YouTube, on Facebook, and all the different apps where you can download and look at Crime Watch on your telephone, look at Crime Watch anywhere in the world, you know, long time. In fact, many years ago when I started off, you, could, you, you know, you have to rush home to look at Crime Watch. You don't have to rush home to look at Crime Watch anymore. Or like, I don't want to miss Crime Watch. You could be anywhere, a, anywhere in the world, and once you have the app, if you have, a, let's say you have an iPhone, go to your, your, your Apple Store, Ian Allen app, Google Phone, uh, Go to, go to Google Play, Ian Allen app. So you don't have to ever rush home. You can sit down and relax. And wherever you are by your cousins, maybe in the traffic, you're a passenger, you're a uh, There are many, many people, ladies and gentlemen, that look at crime watch, even in the subway. Yeah. You know the subway, you, the subway, you can get internet, right? You know that. In New York subway, you know, you're there in the subway, you're waiting. Maybe it, you're on, going to Queens Plaza, you're going to Jamaica. Um... Far, far rock away, you're taking the express straight, whatever. Or the, you know, the, the buses you're taking to go home, you can sit down and just, let me look at my show, you don't have to rush and, you know, but yes, I can't believe there's so many people out there that really, really locked on. That is why every day I tell people that I'm so amazed to know that YouTube has, you know, acknowledged us with over 30 million views. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very cautious, cautious of what I see on national television. And um, very, very cautious. You know, today, ladies and gentlemen, they announced Carnival. But just imagine, they announced Carnival. And it's the first time, it's the highest. I tell you, somehow, I think that every time, every time they announce, make some kind of announcement, something bad really happens. Remember when they, um, they announced Carnival, the high, in fact, it's just, the day, the, day, the, the day they spoke about Carnival was the highest among the deaths. Now, today, you know, they want to go with Carnival. It's a Carnival, you'll be sitting, no parties, no parade, whatever. Whatever, it's only for people to run rackets and steal money, that is all. And today, we have the highest amount of COVID infections. 1,063 cases. Tell me something, 1,063 cases. Ladies and gentlemen, 1,063 cases. Just imagine that. And we have 18 new deaths. 18 new deaths. And I will show you something, yeah? 18 new deaths. But you know what? 18 new deaths. And today we have 3,000. You know, and you, you know what bothers me or what really bothers me? When the, when the figures, when the death toll, the daily deaths were like five and six and it was one, it, you know, it was... The cases like what well, was like maybe 183 uh, uh, just the 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 the, 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 um, the new cases were like one eight one a hundred a day or some the two thirty a day small numbers they shut down everything they had no carnival they had no carnival absolutely no carnival they had no fets they had nothing no parade nothing 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 oh my god now the figures triple and you have in carnival, that makes any sense? According to the girl that went wrong, does that really make sense? It doesn't make sense. Stevie Wonder could see. No offense to the, to the visually impaired, but even the man in the quicker oats tin can see. 
that this government up to no good. They are up to no good. They are up to no good. They are up to no good. And every day, we have to tell them they cannot do it. They just cannot do it. You cannot do that. But you can do that. When the figures was done, you had no carnival. You shut down the place. We suffer. We suffer when the figures wasn't like this. Now, now the figures skyrock, sky has skyrocketed all over. All over. The highest it has been. Are we talking about carnival? Carnival, we still go to have a carnival where you can sit down. Boy, come now, man. Let me tell you something. Eh? When I realized 30 million people looking at me, I had to change my show from just in Trinidad alone, just focusing on current issues on the island, on the Twin Island. Current issues. I had to change it because I realized that all of the islands watching, you're looking at a population more than 20 times or 25 times. 25 or 20, almost 25 times the population of Trinidad looking at Crime Watch. And YouTube, and YouTube acknowledged that. And I realized something. Why would you want to have carnival in a time like this? But I realized that what, this, what Rowley did, he hit us a Boris Johnson. The Prime Minister of the UK, he hit us a Boris Johnson. You remember, it is a video circulated with everybody happy now. Everybody happy. You know what's going on in the UK, Mr. Allen? You see what's going on in the UK? Um, you know, Boris Johnson, tell everybody it's no mask, it's no restriction. You can walk the road, you can go and party, you can lie down, you can do what you want. Ting, ting, ting. You can have a good time. Okay, okay, okay. 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 I say, okay, that ain't bad. I say, Boris Johnson said that. They sent me the video. I say, okay. So I realized, I said, Prime Minister Johnson, with all due respect, he came with a good ball. He came with a good ball. And that is the ball this government is coming with in Trinidad. A Boris Johnson ball. And I told the person, they say, how? Oh. I say, let me explain to you. Let me explain it to you. Let me explain it to you. In the face of mountain pressure, listen to me carefully here. Yeah? In the face of mountain pressure to resign over a party at Downing Street which breached COVID-19 regulation, British Prime Minister Boris, Boris Johnson conceded to pressure from the public and other parliamentarians to remove COVID-19 restrictions. Mandatory face covering in public, public school, and use of COVID passports have been dropped along with advice that person must work from their homes. Speaking in the House of Commons yesterday, Johnson, the leader of the Conservative Party, urged the people to continue taking steps to keep the virus at bay, adding the virus and the future variants cannot be eradicated while we must learn to live. While we must learn to live. But let me tell you something. The same Boris Johnson, ladies and gentlemen, the same Boris Johnson, a couple days ago, was fighting for his job. They were calling for his, his resignation. The entire UK were calling for his resignation because of the party they had last year, sometime in May month, in 2020, in the back of Downing Street. Number 10 Downing Street, as the Prime Minister's office. And the party was bringing a booze and come. This is, a, this is the party. Look, we have a video of him dancing and whatnot. And I realize, I realize, ladies and gentlemen, because it even had clips, the Prime Minister Boris Johnson fighting for his job in a row over gathering, in a row over gathering at his office residence, allegedly the breach of his own COVID lockdown rules in a perilous moment for his leadership. And Mr. Johnson is accused of misleading the public and parliament about, drink, about drinks parties that took place at 10 Downing Street in London. He's not only facing calls to resign from opposition politicians, but a revolt among members of his own conservative party. On top of the, the revelations about potentially COVID breaching Catherine, he has faced pressure on other fronts, to including funding for a, a flat refurbishment and a, a, a role last year in which his government tried to save a conservative MP who was embroiled in his own social scandal. 
compli com uh, complicating things further, there have been a barrage of criticism from Mr. Johnson, former top advisor Dominic Cummins, who has said the Prime Minister was warned about a drinking party in Downing Street. So, you know what he did? So, the whole of UK, the whole of UK, the whole of UK, listen to this carefully, yeah? the whole of UK started to put pressure on him because how you could have a party and we locked down and this and that, and everybody, even if he started to face opposition, even in his own party, all his MPs started to get on, they started to go on different platforms and social media, on radio, on, on radio programs, television programs. It became a big thing, on the, and even on BBC. So Boris Johnson realized what was going on. So in order to divert the attention, you remember when people locked down. When people locked down, it's like having a baby. All the pain you have during, during that pregnancy, and during pregnancy, when you're going to labor and you're born and you're cuss and you're... You, you, you want to beat up the nose and okay. When the baby is born, you don't remember the pain anymore, you know. You don't ever remember the pain. And remember. No, you remember the pain. But the baby is more important. So similar now, similarly, you realize now, when he realized that even his own, he had to come with a shot. He had to come with a ball. In order for him not to, because he was facing pressure every day and it was escalating, it was escalating all different parts of the UK. They started, a, they, they, they started a march, they started a call for this, call for that. Everybody in different sectors, the uh, different agencies in the government started to complain. Now, nah, Boris can't do this, how we could do this? So he realized he is back against the wall. So he come now and he apologized. He apologized. This is what he said. I want to apologise. I know that millions of people across this country have made extraordinary sacrifices over the last 18 months. I know the anguish that they have been through, unable to mourn their relatives, unable to live their lives as they want or to do the things they love. And I know the rage they feel with me and with the government. So you come and apologise. So in order to forget everything, in order to forget, the UK people realize you're locked down, you can't walk, you can't go clubbing, you can't do nothing. Hear what? Hear what's going on? In order to shut them down, hear what you're going to do? I would not be whole blinking place. Anybody talking about Boris and the party now? Anybody, anybody talking about bring your booze and come? And that, and look what Boris did. So he opened up the whole place now. Listen to him. We can return to Plan A in England and allow Plan B regulations to expire. As a result, from the start of Thursday next week, mandatory certification will end. Organisations can, of course, choose to use the NHS COVID pass voluntarily, but we will end the compulsory use of COVID status certification in England. From now on, the government is no longer asking people to work from home. Yeah. And people should now speak to their employers about arrangements for returning to the office. And having looked at the data carefully, the cabinet concluded. So everything opened up after, after he faced that pressure. You check? So nobody on Boris and the party again. So everything back to normal. And let me tell you what's going on in Trinidad now. We didn't get no grant. 18 billion dollars spent in the last two years. Nobody again, nothing. Rowley back is against the wall. He had to appoint a five member panel, a committee to, to, even, to even investigate the cause of the deaths and what going on and thing. The whole panel in this array because the thing saying one thing, this one saying one thing. He had to reshuffle them, he had to get rid of them. He can't do it just so. He had to get a report from the, the, the findings of members of the committee. Then he can make a decision to move around people. Because if you can't move around people just so people will think that you, from, from day one you didn't have a clue of what was going on and now you're coming when the horse don't leave this table to move around the thing and going, he will do that eventually. But he's waiting on the report of the five-member committee. So let me tell you what he's doing now. So when he realized all that like Boris Johnson, he come and he say, you know what? Let me tell you what Trinidad and Tobago like. When you see that day called Carnival, Monday and Tuesday, people have become different. It's not no race, it's not nothing. People free up on the street, they like the carnival. 
they like the juve they like this they like that that word carnival alone don't matter people might people might people might want to go outside but they go say i go still go for the little break yes boy i was still going to relax my head a little bit and just relax and watch the little mass and thing so everything that this government has done wrong in the last two years it is similar to what boris johnson did in the uk he's wrong for having the boost party just what they're calling for rowley's Rowley resignation and certain ministers and they're saying this and you can't do that and with the money i still man never get no grant this one gain mp gain and me gain no money we are getting this we are getting that we're getting a, a pan of biscuit all kind of thing went on in the last two years but if i come on a carnival everybody will forget they have used the same strategy as boris johnson to divert the attention and the real story and the crisis that the nation is facing and they have done it they have done it they have done it just to please the people not in the interest and the safe, safety and to protect the nation you know against the virus you know because when they do that they open up everything that is it you know but once you have carnival that is it nobody will remember what this government did to us while we were down and out so they don't care the after effects about having a carnival because they have a short salary because that is why i was so outraged ladies and gentlemen when i heard even come um when i heard this girl julian john senator julian john telling people here what going on anybody who forced a mandatory vaccine vaccination we should avoid doing business with them that is a very irresponsible statement to make as a senator from the unc and i hope that the party the, 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 the party does not share that same view because when you say don't go by business people and do business and when their business starts to crush let me tell you something it is not the business owners will be affected is the store clerk is the cashier is the transport man it's the pizza man is the, man, is the man who's doing a little odd jobs to the company. These small people are, will be affected by an, by an irresponsible statement you made, Senator Julian John. I only hope that the UNC party does not share the same view. This is what she said. I want to advise the Prime Minister, the, um, sorry, the private sector, that today is Martin Luther King's Day. And he said injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. And if the private sector joins with dictator Rowley to impose these punitive measures on people working with them, I say we go boycott them. We'll boycott all of them. The UNC will work against you and boycott you because what you are doing is wrong. So you are boycotting the business who want, you are boycotting the restaurants who have safe zones just to make sure that their workers, their, their employees, their single mothers work. So if you start to boycott them, what will happen? If you have a short salary, your business fix. I know that and you know that my business fix. What will happen to this small man? That is a very irresponsible statement to make. I think you should retract that statement, Ms. John. With all due respect, I know you well. I know you well. So similar as I said, what Boris Johnson did in the UK, that is what Rowley is doing in Trinidad. He's pulling a Boris Johnson on us. And as Marshall Montano said in the video, it's going to be charge Toro Toro. Open the gates. Open the gates. Charge Toro Toro. Get ready for the Mad Bull fever. Yeah, it's going to be a Mad Bull fever come carnival time. And when that gate is open, brother man, we wouldn't be able to pick up from it because I can show you statistics, ladies and gentlemen. I can show you statistics where the figures were done and we were closed down. The figures were done and the restaurants were closed. The figures were done and all about was closed. But the figures have skyrocketed to the highest it has ever been. And we have in Carnival. Does that make sense? Think about it. But he's hitting us at Boris Johnson. Just what the UK Prime Minister did to divert the attention that, is, that, that the population of uh, UK would not remember the party. That is what Ro the Rowley administration is doing. That is what he's doing. And you have to pay attention to what is going on internationally to really read the play, like how I have read it today. To really read the play. Let's take a fast break. When NASA set out to explore the reaches beyond our world, 
They needed a material that would hold up to the demands of the unknown. Flexible titanium. Engineered from the same alloy used for missile heat shields, Flexon set the new standard in durable eyewear. Flexible titanium eyewear. Available at Neo Eyewear, 91D Main Road, Suite 1, Montrose Mall, Chagonas, 672-5052 or 3903196. Time to get up. That's for you. And that's for you. Feel better, Mom. Panadol Multi Symptom. Relief in minutes. Seven cold and flu symptoms. Panadol Multi Symptom. A dose of efficacy. Have until January 31st to win the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. Win a Jeep Gladiator Rubicon from Angostura. Angostura is giving you more chances to win the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. Now you have until January 31st to spend $250 or more on any combination of White Oak, Forest Park, Fernandez Black Label, Angostura 7 Year, Premium Rums, and Tambu Rum to enter. Visit AngosturaPromos.com for details. Enjoy responsibly. Whoa. Drink anyone and win now. Designate. Don't drink and drive. Me, two things I do do without my coffee and my guardian. I really look forward to doing my guardian paper today. It helps me do my best and as an SEA student, I need it for my practice. I'm always looking for the latest deals for my business. The Guardian Classified is the perfect source for that. The Guardian caters for all people. As a businesswoman in these times, I need a paper that I can rely on. That's why my choice is Guardian. Hey, you wouldn't believe, since COVID-19 has pushed me real far away from cricket. I read in this Guardian newspaper here, I feel close after my sports. Guardian of the People It's Tiles, Tiles, Tiles in 2022 at Classic Tiles. Visit our warehouse or showroom with over 1,500 signature designs to choose from. Porcelain and ceramic tiles, bathroom fixtures and more. Our friendly staff is ready to answer any question. We also carry tools, accessories and more to make any job a breeze. For any building improvement project, visit us at 64 Endeavor Road, Chugunas or call 665-1547 today. Oh Snacks has set the bar with our dark chocolate dipped chewy granola bars. Double Nut, irresistibly sweet and salty with almonds, peanuts and dark chocolate. Double Chocolate, a true chocolate lover's delight with 100% Trinidadian cocoa. Our bars are wholesome and delicious. They combine the best of nature in every bite. Go on, try them. Oh Snacks dark chocolate dipped chewy granola bars. Healthy never tasted this good. We at SNS Prasad know the struggles and fears of our beloved customers during this time. To guarantee the safety of our customers and employees, we have implemented routine cleaning of all our stations, lanes, trolleys and baskets, security to ensure the observation of COVID protocols and sanitizing stations throughout the grocery. We ensure our shelves are always fully stocked with a wide variety of cooking, cleaning, household and clothing items to meet the needs of your treasured family. For your convenience and safety, you can call and collect through curbside pickup or get one of our to-go bags containing the basic necessities or even better, place an order for your groceries and have it delivered to your doorstep where we accept both cash and links. SNS Passat, Rio Claro and Mayaro, we are here for you. Introducing Goli Superfruits, made with a unique combination of bamboo shoot extract plus vitamins A, C, and E to help support collagen formation, skin structure and elasticity, immune health, skin health, and appearance. Available in TNT pharmacies nationwide. Attention all contractors and homeowners, beat the rain! Get your roofing materials fast. Shop at Varma Steel and collect your materials upon purchase or have them delivered the next day. Varma Steel for high-grade roofing sheets, purlins, steel beams, flashing, guttering, chain link, BRC and decking sheets. Free transport for purchases over $5,000. Varma Steel's high-grade roofing have a life of 40 to 50 years. Varma Steel, next to the St. Margaret's Police Station, Pleasant Park. Call 659-4008.
support Varma Steel. Yeah, you support Varma Steel. He's a great guy. You support Varma Steel. You know, I'll tell you this, yeah? No, because, you know, you're listening to Julian, John and them, and it's like, why would you tell people that you want to boycott? And I mean, but Martin Luther, we can't even buckle Martin Luther shoes. Nobody here. I wouldn't even do, use, say, well, you know, but it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. You see, to try to interfere and, and interfere with people's salaries when, you, when your business fix. As I was telling somebody today, an incident took place and I realized nobody really don't care about these small people in a boy. He's small man always. That's why it's better. You have the poor among That's why the, even the Bible says that, that the poor will always be among us. You know? The rich will come and use us and we will lick their behinds, as they say. But the poor people will always be with us, boy. No matter when we fall, the poor people will always be with you. And believe what I tell you there. When I, I mean, my, my experience, up, up, way up, and everybody was my friend. This one, that one, hey, drinks, do, 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 boy. The day I crashed four years ago. Hey, boy, you know. I want to know if these people change their number, yes? But it's amazing. It's just amazing. But thank God I'm back. And, but always remember that. You know, but back home here, just what Boris Johnson... Hey, by the way, did somebody tell me how this guy was involved in an accident? The Minister of Health. All right. He was involved in an accident today. He crossed the highway. A truck nearly bounced him down. But thank God. I'll be here. Hold a second. Before we play the video, please. Could we stop before we play the video, please? Is anybody hearing me in the back there? Okay. He had a, um, a little accident today, but he's okay. And the driver of the car is okay. Thank God, no fatalities, nobody, no broken um, bones or whatever. And some of you might say, oh God, well, he's, he's supporting the health thing now. Well, you feel I really care what, what, what you already think, of, think about it? It was an accident, a minor accident, and everybody's okay. And let's move on. Let's move on to business. Okay, but I'll just show you he was involved in an accident, but he's okay. Go ahead. Boy, boy, Terence, Terence the Helsing, Okay, White Pad, are You know, bring the lights on this man here. Yeah? yeah, right by Silas. Boy, boy, Terence here. Eh? Up, no next time, next time, um, walk, use the walkover, Mr. Man. Use the walkover. You could have lost your life. But it just shows something. You stand up in the middle of the highway and not a car slow down for you to make you across. You're not popular at all. You're not popular at all. If I stand up in the middle of the, and, and that medium right there, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Boy, they will hold man and help me cross the road. They will hold man help me across the road. But you're not popular, but nevertheless, I'm glad everybody is okay in the, in the accident. Anyway, back home in Trinidad, it seems as though Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley has given into pressure from carnival and business stakeholders to allow certain carnival-like events, even as the COVID-19 tour remains in double figures. Eh? Double figures. Today, there have been 3,256 deaths, according to the Ministry of Health. 104,005 infections for the month of January. Are you hearing me? For the month of January, ladies and gentlemen, we have had we have had 104,005 infections for the month of January. There have already been 389 deaths and 12,000 new infections. Talk to me now. Talk to me, ladies and gentlemen. Talk to me. There are 28 Omicron cases in the country, according to the last figure given. 28 Omicron cases in the country, according to the last figure given by the Ministry of Health earlier this week. Three of those cases are on the sister Isle Tobago. Even though the Ministry has stopped releasing figures for the Delta variant, our last figure in December last year was 199. It appears that the Prime Minister has, is given into carnival stakeholders and a lot of the citizenry who are oblivious to the lives lost to COVID-19. And similar to Boris Johnson, similar just giving in, giving in to pressure. Just like, you know, okay, 
Just to, just to protect my image, just to protect my party, we go open up everything. Just to protect my image, protect everything, here we're going on. Open the gates, open the gates, here we're going on. It's carnival in all your tail. Listen to him on Saturday. He contradicted his own self. I also notice that a lot of the conversations in this country very pointedly ignore the fact that what the government is looking at and is trying to respond to are the number of deaths in Trinidad and Tobago associated with COVID. It appears to me that to some voices over 3,000 people dying from COVID is not an important matter warranting our conversation during the daytime, our response in the 24-hour period of each day. Today, the figure is 3,156. I want to look, ask you to look at the bar at the top. Population vaccination status. Green and blue. All, what, that, that, all, all these statistics that you're telling me, how much deaths we have, it, it, it's the worst. Because let me tell you something. I can bring out a document for you here. In 2021, in 2021, the cases were 138, the daily deaths, daily deaths, March, Wednesday, February the 17th, three weeks after Carnival 2021. We had no Carnival, but that's three weeks after. Let's say Carnival would have been the 14th and the 15th, or the 15th and the 16th, 2021. You had 138 deaths. You had 100 and... and, 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 and you, you understand? Before, even before, before, let's say three weeks before Carnival last year, if you, if you were supposed to have Carnival, January 24th, and just showing you how many deaths, 134, 135, 134, 135, it was low, not, that is not low, after can, but ladies and gentlemen, we have 200 and something in October, 400 and something in, the, in, in November, 700 and something in December, and in January a month alone, we have how much? Three hundred and eighty-nine in January. It is the highest it has ever been in the history, and you consider in carnival, but you locked me down when the debts was low, and we couldn't go out and we couldn't make money, we couldn't shop, we couldn't control our business, we we couldn't pay our loan, we lost our car, we lost our home, we lost our jobs, we never regained from that from that blow, and now the figures are the figures have multiplied triple. Triple times the figures now. Are we having carnival? Does that make sense? You all think. You all think it is a Boris Johnson approach to make sure that the people forget everything that the government did to them while they were dumb. That is all. Trinidad and Tobago. Tobago recorded no additional COVID-19 death within the last 24 hours. In a statement earlier today, the THA Division of Health, Wellness and Social Protection reported 49 new infections, 1,000 active cases with 31 patients in hospital. 27 of those patients are unvaccinated, 3 fully vaccinated, and 1 partially vaccinated. The death toll stands at 222 on the island. The division said there are 5,144 recovered patients. Also, meanwhile, the Tobago House of Assembly revealed today that out of approximately 20,000 employees attached to the THA, they are on, they are on the payroll that are on the, oh, sorry, approximately 20,000 employees that are on its payroll, only 6,429 of them choose to reveal their vaccination status, with only 2,544 of them being fully vaccinated, while 3,885 were unvaccinated. So you see the THA showing you the THS showing you what's going on. They're coming out. They're playing real. They're playing real. They're playing real. Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, really fast, the government, ladies and gentlemen, in fact, before we go, we, before, let me tell you, let me tell you something. Yeah? Um, do you know the medical chief of staff for Tobago said, expect a surge in the Omicron cases in Tobago? So if you think about going to Tobago, why can't even going on? Think twice. You know that song, Baby Think Twice? Baby, you really better think twice. On Wednesday, THA Health Division Wellness and Social Protection reported two additional cases of Omicron, increasing the Tobago total to three. 
it's it said confirmation is second to Omicron case received in Jan, January and 18 and 19 via gene sequencing at the facility medical lab, blah, blah, blah. But nevertheless, bottom line, they, pre they said, they said, expect a surge in Tobago. That is what they said. And also, ladies and gentlemen, do you know, do you know, before we take that break, 1,181 pregnant women have contracted COVID-19 virus. 1,181 pregnant women have contracted the COVID-19 virus, and among them, we lost six, six, mater they had six maternal deaths. Just imagine that, six. Six maternal deaths. We didn't have that last year. We didn't have it in 2020. We didn't have it in 2021. What am I saying, ladies and gentlemen? I am just coming back to you and tell us, telling you that we have, been, we have weathered the storm we are not out of the woods. Nobody's out of the woods. Do not put self first. Now is not the time to throw caution out of the window. Now is the time now that we have to be, we have to protect who is alive. We have to protect who is alive. And by even discussing carnival, that makes no sense. Because why are we discussing it now when the fig when, when it's the highest the figures has ever been? But when it was lower lock me down, that does not make sense. How would that make sense? Even look at the sports right now. There's some cricket uh, on the 19 um, World Cup going on at Brian Lara Stadium. A lot of cri cri uh, sports uh, cricket fanatics. Uh, I mean, there's a video. Look at it. Go ahead. Oh, trouble here, trouble. Oh, it's a direct hit. Magnificent hit. Nangya, right. Yalai. Okay. But again, again, again. Do you know how the sports the, the sporting industry, those shops and them, the people who sell sporting sporting clothes and whatnot, they crash. Memorabilia, sporting memorabilia. They have crashed. Because nobody's buying. No, but I don't understand. You, I don't know if you're watching. What's the condition of that place? You could have seen millions of dollars spent new seats. It had Brian Lara, um, the, the amount of runs he made and whatnot, printed all on the chair. Listen, maybe that was done, but that, that had to be done maybe two years ago. Whatever, but money was spent to prepare that. But in order to bring revenue, because you could have had a person sitting two or, three, two or three seats away, no alcohol sold on the, on the premises, so, social distancing, and bring in a little revenue, that money would have gone to frontline workers. Do you know how many people want to go? And that's it. So if I could go in a restaurant and sit down and eat, how come I could? Why, how come I can't go down? No alcohol on me. No alcohol. No if you're found with alcohol, they're charging you. So don't put in a chubby bottle or put oh, in a sujing bottle or, 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 put, or put the vodka in, a, in a, a normal water bottle, like how I will do it. But nevertheless, no alcohol and that revenue we could have gotten so much money from that and that money would have assisted the doctors the nurses help repair the machines the pcr machine that break down so many things we could have done but they're not thinking they're not thinking they're not thinking so you no know, so many people looking at cricket every day and, and they could have done that but they're not thinking because if i could go in a restaurant and sit down oh come on, i'm here, a cricket fan but I like the little lime and the oval and thing when you go long time, you carry a little food, your little dalpuri and thing, and your little duck and cricket thing, you know, you, 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 you try a little drink and thing. I never like the chili pussy thing. I like that kind of thing. I don't like that kind of thing. I went once and thing, and it got good, it good, it nice. And no offense to the chili pussy or, or organizers and whatnot, they're great, but my thing is different. I like to go in the, with the commoners. I like to be people, like men, walking up and down, thing to eat. That's what I like. That's me. I don't like such thing. But, we, but, but, but they could have done something like that in, um, in, in, in Brian Lara Promenade because you have the under-19 World Cup going on. Um, sorry, not the Promenade Stadium. But how come? But yeah, yeah, nobody talk about that. You hear the sporting man talk about that. The Minister of Sports, nobody. Oh, Sham Fako, the Minister of Sports. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Lord help us. And me, and, okay. Okay. 
Hold on, hold on. I need to tell you something. You know, the, you know the Trinidad Tobago Promoters Association. These people are writing there. You know, you, you know they want to know. They want to know, give, give, give the green light for Carnival 2023 so we can begin work again. <laughs> 2023. We even come out of 2021 good yet. We still dragging on. We still dragging on. We behind. Them saying right. The Trinidad and Tobago Promotion Association call for reopening of event sector. Reopening event entertainment sector. Carnival is, is not on. Blah, blah, blah. They gave on the green light for Carnival 2023. 2023, I'm talking about you now. We even reach, we, 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 Christmas tree has come down as yet. You see how everybody like wine and jam? We still in 2020 with COVID. We, this thing still around. This thing like a horn, it's a leaf in. You know how many variants coming again? They're coming after you. You're only ducking so. You're only taking the jab and you, you have to live. You're only sanitizing. Hold it, you're going so. Hold it, hold it. As you touch something, you go so. Ooh. Oh, God, relax now. We don't have to go there. Let's try. All I'm telling you, let me tell you something. Once the figures drop, that is all I'm telling you, you know. But you know, you're telling, you're telling my Boris Johnson. We need to protect lives. We need to protect the workers, protect the small man. We can't take a look. Let me tell you something. And I'm telling government this. And there's a stern warning I'm giving you, Dr. Rowley. A stern warning. Don't play after carnival. You come to mess with we bread and butter. We little employees who work in the little shop, the little caterer, the little roti maker, the little burger man, the little mason, the little contractor, the ones who have to look for the bread every day. You know? Don't play. When you see you open that gate, and as Marshall say, charge Toro Toro. When you open the gates, don't play. When things really happen, and that gate open for carnival, and you're coming after carnival, after October, November, after November, and playing your locking on place, you know? Please remember this now, because that, that, ladies and gentlemen, that will be a demise. That will be a demise. You see what's going on? There? You, you saw what's going on in Barbados? Or you have any idea in Barbados? May I at least sweep out the whole thing? Or not? When we come back, I will tell you. Drive in to Dibbles Auto Parts, specialize in automotive spare parts for all Japanese made vehicles, Nissan, Toyota, Mitsubishi and more. We stock engine, suspension and body parts, headlights, tail lamps and more. We also carry the latest models of roll-on roll-off vehicles. Our team is ready to assist, so there's no worry. Call or WhatsApp. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram or visit our three locations. Our prices and quality can't be beaten. Dibbles Auto Parts. We lead, others follow. We at SNS Prasad know the struggles and fears of our beloved customers during this time. To guarantee the safety of our customers and employees, we have implemented routine cleaning of all our stations, lanes, trolleys, and baskets, security to ensure the observation of COVID protocols, and sanitizing stations throughout the grocery. We ensure our shelves are always fully stocked with a wide variety of cooking, cleaning, household and clothing items to meet the needs of your treasured family. For your convenience and safety, you can call and collect through curbside pickup or get one of our to-go bags containing the basic necessities or even better, place an order for your groceries and have it delivered to your doorstep where we accept both cash and links. SNS Passat, Rio Claro and Mayaro, we are here for you. VJ Small Engine Repairs offer quality products at affordable prices. Walkers, chainsaws, water pumps and more. We carry replacement parts for all brands. Our expert technicians are well equipped to repair anything. Call, come in or check us out on Facebook for combo deals and more. You know ladies and gentlemen, today I could have been lying in this casket dead. I have lost so many friends. It is unbelievable. They stood right in front of me saying, Ian, I am not going to take that vaccine. You shouldn't take it. But today, they all passed away. They all died and gone. You want to be there for your family? Take the vaccine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ian Allen. It's not a ledge. It's a fact. I am alive. Please, don't hesitate. Vaccinate. That could have been me going there. But I'm alive. As you can see. Vaccinate today. Live tomorrow. Advanced Tent and Septic Cleaning. We manufacture, rent, and sell the highest quality tents at affordable prices. Call us today to book an appointment to have your septic cleaning needs met with quick, reliable service. Located at 130 Monroe Road, Columbia, or call us today. Me, two things I do without my coffee and my guardian. 
I really look forward to doing my Guardian paper today. It helps me do my best and as an SEA student, I need it for my practice. I'm always looking for the latest deals for my business. The Guardian Classified is the perfect source for that. The Guardian caters for all people. As a businesswoman in these times, I need a paper that I can rely on. That's why my choice is Guardian. Hey, you wouldn't believe, since COVID-19 has pushed me real far away from cricket. I read in this Guardian newspaper here, I feel close after my sport. Guardian of the people. Goli gummies are here. Apple cider vinegar has been clinically proven to lower blood sugar, maintain healthy cholesterol levels, aid in weight loss, boost energy, immunity, and more. Now available at TNT pharmacies nationwide. St. Rose Funeral Services. We don't just say we care, we show that we care. 24 7 removal services. International shipping and embalming. Pre-planned funeral arrangements with complete burial or cremation. Locally made caskets and coffins customized for your loved ones. Wreath, floral arrangements, programs, prayer cards and mourners vehicles. Maxi or car are all provided for your family's comfort. When you're leaving, leave in style. St. Rose Funeral Services. Number 5 Bazalon Street, Tunapuna. 645-1075. 337-9686. Allow us to honor your family members. Come to light in a relaxing staycation at the beautiful Serenity Hills Palace. Nestled in the heart of South Trinidad, you can enjoy quiet scenic views. We provide spacious, fully furnished air-conditioned rooms with accommodations for up to 15 persons. Enjoy a day at the luxurious poolside, fully equipped with an outdoor kitchen, barbecue grill, poolside bar, and lounge areas. Overnight and day passes are available to fit your staycation needs. Find us on Facebook, call or WhatsApp 1917-239-5799 to book your stay. We at SNS Prasad know the struggles and fears of our beloved customers during this time. To guarantee the safety of our customers and employees, we have implemented routine cleaning of all our stations, lanes, trolleys and baskets, security to ensure the observation of COVID protocols and sanitizing stations throughout the grocery. We ensure our shelves are always fully stocked with a wide variety of cooking, cleaning, household and clothing items to meet the needs of your treasured family. For your convenience and safety, you can call and collect through curbside pickup or get one of our to-go bags containing the basic necessities or even better, place an order for your groceries and have it delivered to your doorstep where we accept both cash and links. SNS Passat, Rio Claro and Mayaro, we are here for you. Concert? Where I want to see people in concert for? Why I want to see people in concert for? Like long time thing with stand up and that like the March Grand and, and all these big events. You know, imagine, right? Imagine. When I think about it, look at this fella, Darwin Thomas, the CEO of NCRHA. He's the deputy chairman for National Carnival, Carnival Commission Committee. Right? Look at a photograph of him there. We know about Carnival. You in Carnival and you see the NCR, the hospital and whatnot. You see this place is a back in our place? Before you get Peter Minchel 
to open up the places I, I, I distinguish man like Peter Minchin who know carnival who could open all his big shows and what the man opening shows for, for Olympics and out there and down here they want to get the man a little play but it's just politics again and you don't know what's going on hey let me tell you something the world, I didn't tell you yeah? would you believe that the World Bank has announced that poor countries will receive received a World Bank pandemic bond insurance payout of US 75 million once they reach 2500 COVID deaths you don't know that you don't know that? You don't know that? Yeah, that is true. Would you believe that 1900 and climbing COVID deaths in Trent Tobago poised to cash on US 75 million bond? Yeah, we're going to get money. We're going to get money because we cost 2500. So that is why now they're going to get 75 million dollars from, from the World Bank. Yeah, you don't know that? That is good talk. It is good talk. It is good talk. They're going to collect a seven. They must be done collect it already. And that money, how much money that is? 75 million. How much money that is? Yeah. And TT. I tell you, all the, all the brain so hard in the bank there. One and one is 11. Man. One and one is 11. Man. And you ask them one and one, they will say a bigger one. Big, big researcher, big degree masters, all kind of thing in the bank there. Tell you, the only degree all the average are the other ones, yes? <laughs> about about <laughs> it's about 700 million but a little more than that but how much 525 million plus you know what money that could do for doctors but that money that's what they're going to use for carnival i'm telling you let me tell you something before we go fast before i go there was a shooting incident at erin beach today so, uh, southwestern peninsula has left one man identified as, as damien benjamin aka guti got he dead at least two others two, two other relatives injured on thursday the shooting po police say it's linked to an incident which another relative of the deceased was gone down on the same beach way boy also ladies and gentlemen a 36 year old kevin Seeley of sawmill avenue bartaria was gone down while working with other CPEP workers outside the malik secondary school of coconut driving mover on thursday the incident occurred around 8 30 while school was in full session and the gunshots echoed throughout the halls of the school leaving teachers and students visibly shaken sources are stated a man approached Seeley police and opened fire on him the victim ran a short way so they shot a man in front of the school just imagine that this is the individual here. Also, there was a double murder last night. 28-year-old Aki Mendoza and 40-year-old Josiah, Josiah Daniel, both of Orchid Gardens, Pleasantville, were shot and killed outside their homes around 7.15 p.m. Police officers on mobile patrol responded to report about a shooting. About a shooting incident outside the apartment complex at Orchard Gardens, and when they got to the scene, they found Mendoza dead on the road with multiple gunshot injuries. Daniel was declared dead on arrival at the San Fernando General Hospital. I did I dispatch a camera crew there last night. This is what they got. Also, ladies and gentlemen, police are probing an incident in which the skeletal remains of a suspected homeless man was found inside an abandoned house in Tunapuna on Wednesday, the 19th of January. Discovery was made at the corner of Barcelon and Green Street in Tunapuna around 5 p.m. After officers responded to a report, police said they found the bones and skull with a blue coverall, brown cloth, and cushion. Also, ladies and gentlemen, remember yesterday I ran a clip where these guys were stealing rims there yeah, at a, some, a, 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 a car place on the southern main road? Remember this? Just to let you know. And we aired the videos. If you could show the guys taking the rim, that would be great. Really fast, if you could jump the video a little bit. Okay, let's take it back so you can see the guys walking with the rims, please. Right. Remember, this is the driver of the car. His name is... Um, Andre Simoy, this is him in a video here, Andre Simoy, aka Cocky. In fact, we got him on a video. Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, today, just to let you know, just to let you know, I didn't leave my office, but I coordinated the entire thing. He went back to the victim that he stole the rims from, that they stole the rims from, and they paid the victim $5,000 for the stolen rims. Yeah because they didn't want to, want to put, put on blast. Also, the car, the PCH, what? 
5402, the Black Almera was sold. So if you see that car or the road or anywhere, that has nothing to do with Andre Simoy, a.k.a. Cocky. The car was, was sold today. And Andre sorted out his business with the victims and them. So he gave the, the, the victims $5,000 for their rims that they, they stole in the night. Yeah, that's how we're doing it. That's how we're doing it. And I have other, two other videos to run with a home invasion. And f hey, you saw the video. But the channel, people. Remember the girl who said that everybody's sleeping on cold water and whatnot, and they? Jenny Grant. And I found the video to be very distasteful. Very, very distasteful because we, we are not like that. Remember when she said it? Play the start of the, 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 start of the video, please, if you can go to it. Now to Trinidad and Tobago. Hi everyone, hola a todo. In my country, thousands of children live in poverty. Little girls sleep on the cold ground in makeshift homes. They have no access to running water, electricity, they cannot attend school, they have no access to healthcare, and they don't even know where their next meal is coming from. No child deserves to grow up living under these conditions. And I believe with the COVID-19 pandemic, it's drastically incre increased, sorry, the amount of poverty in the world today. I believe this is the biggest... <laughs> well, boy, last night, just to make you laugh on the light, just say, you know, you know, you know, you know Trini, people like to do all kind of thing. I saw a girl singing with a, with, with a crown in her head. I find it was really cool. Listen to the girl response. Beauty pageants cost one set of dollars. <laughs> And those organizers made so much errors. It's them who wrote every line and verse. I told them I want to read it first. That is the thing that got me upset. They print it out before I could vet. I know Trinbegonians are doing well. You know they put Trinbegonians living in hell. In SEA, those young girls, the score. They say the girls sleeping on the floor. Education and healthcare is free. They say it's not for everybody. Now look where the park can all reach. They misprint my pageant speech. Oh, 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 oh. That's not what I meant. Oh my God. This is so embarrassing. I just have to make you laugh a little bit. I saw our next one. I'm on TikTok, you know, in TikTok, you must go check me out. Look at this. <laughs> now to Trinidad and Tobago. Hi, everyone. Hola, Toro. I'm in my country. Hello, I am Mr. Trinidad and Tobago. Thousands of children live in poverty. Hello, excuse me. That is Miss Madagascar. Little girls sleep on the cold ground in makeshift homes. Hello, I live in a tropical island. Only around Christmas time it has been cold, eh? And I feel like it's Santa Cruz too. That will be real cold. They have no access to running water. Hey, hey, what's that trying the best? What we have is more potholes than people. No electricity. Hello, 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 theater. Let's play up sometimes, but we have current, there. Eh? We have current. They cannot attend school. Hey, I get free education, eh? Plus, I went CCC and went on train. <laughs> you know CCC? <laughs> if you want to be a well, uh, try CCC if you want to be a head. It, it just to make you laugh a little bit. It just to make you laugh. It's amazing. Let me take one call. Go ahead. And you know, I tell you this. We have, um, the government has not really come out and tell you with respect to the safe zones, no fets, no parades. Let us go to it really fast. After months of consultation with stakeholders, uncertainty, government has given its approval for carnival safe zone and um, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's saying the ministry said why PCR testing for patrons was considered as a form risk of mitigation. It was not deemed realistic as a cost per test per patron would be uneconomical. But never... Also, ladies and gentlemen, so I got, in fact... There are so many people I had to call back who, who, who um, WhatsApp me and tell them that they wanted to advertise. I'm just putting money numbers. I'm saying a special hello to one of our advertisers here, VJ Small Engine Repairs, or for uh, 
offer a quality products at affordable prices, workers, chains, saw water pumps, and more. We carry replacement parts for all brands. Our expert technicians are well equipped to repair anything. Call or come and check us on Facebook, Combo Deals and More, located at Rocha Douglas Road, Barrack Poor, VJ Small Engine Repairs. Everybody's coming on board because and happy birthday too. Happy birthday to Jesse. Oh yeah. Tomorrow he's celebrating his birthday, but I'm gonna wish him happy birthday. It's, in fact, it was on my system. All right, so tomorrow is his birthday. Tomorrow is his, his birthday. Yeah? So just yeah, we're going on again. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be with you. Happy birthday, just from today. Tomorrow is the birthday, and I'll play it back for you tomorrow. Oh God, you know I love all you. You know I love all you. I just have to make you laugh again. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back tomorrow. Remember, be careful out there. Be be careful. Somebody just mentioned to me. You know, our Minister of National Security has gotten for three injunctions from different age, from different attorneys representing clients that involves the Ministry of National Security. Three injunctions in three days. Somebody from the, the judicial system was just get, giving me a little S, as I say, a Zeppo. So this is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch. I'll be back tomorrow. That is Bark and All. Good night. Yo, there's a jungle loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win playing. It's the last thing on the mind. Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying. Be safe, funny home. Be 